plus plus there is a one new feature suppose i want to display average of this program then what i can do i can display one more integer uh, i can declare one more integer uh, uh, float float average and here i can write one more c out c out average is equal to okay i can display here average is equal to x plus y by 2 x plus y by 2 is the average so in fact um, okay this is uh, fine and we will display here average so we calculate average here and store it in average variable then see out average is equal to average run okay first number 100 second number 200 sum is 300 average is 150 displayed now here this average i declared after xy in the beginning itself this is our c style programming in c++ this float average actually i did i i need somewhere at the end so i can as well declare it here just before using it also here like this float average average is equal to this run Hundred, two hundred, average one fifty. So it is same thing. Functional device, it is same, but the average uh, uh, variable has come down to bottom. So we can declare in C plus plus variables wherever we need. It it doesn't have to be in the beginning itself like in C. That is one uh, change here in C plus plus. and another difference is uh, a new data type came here called bool boolean type data variable added in c++ so we can have a bool variable x in this we can store x is equal to a boolean variable means values 0 or 1 are true or false you can say true suppose let us have y x and y suppose there are two boolean variables the type is bool bool xy both are boolean variables and the values can be true or false suppose x is equal to true y is equal to false or you can say zero also so true or one is same and a zero or false is same now display c out x y and line run <laughs> wait oh i'll give space in between x then some space r is a x is okay uh 
x is equal to x space or comma y is equal to y. Let us display now. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So 1 means true, 0 means false. Suppose we want to, this since these are Boolean variables, in the above we can as well store y also as false. You can write false while loading a Boolean variable. Instead of 0 or 1, you can use true false. Similarly, while display while displaying also we can use we can display it true or false. So how do we display? Before x, we need to call insert something like bool alpha before x bool alpha means boolean alphabet like that and before y also bool alpha run now you can see x is equal to true y is equal to false so this is how boolean variables can be displayed using bool alpha identifier like this just before x use bool alpha means it will be 1 is displayed as true and 0 is displayed as false. So bool is new uh, type in C++. Next topic is reference variables. Reference variables. Reference variables means they are like aliases. Aliases means second names for the variables. Suppose I can have int x is equal to 100, then int reference. Reference is indicated by ampersand. int reference y is equal to x like this we can declare references so here y is an alias for x so instead of x now onwards we can use y so here actually these are replacement for pointers in c in c we need to use pointers but pointers are a headache instead of that a simpler method has been designed a new data type came that is reference variables let us see how to use these reference variables. int x is equal to 125. Now let us have, have a reference for this int y int reference y integer reference so int reference y means y is an integer reference so another integer can be assigned to this is equal to y so y is reference of x it is declared like this int reference y 
or you can do separately also i at the reference y is equal to x now one words x can be accessed with y it can be read as well as modified now here you can display c out x is equal to x value let's put some comma then y is equal to y value new line run x is equal to 125 y is equal to 125 so now y represents x now let us modify x using y suppose y is equal to 150 I change the y to 150. Let us display x and y again. So this changes x also automatically. So both of them become 125. Run. Now both are 150. Therefore, first x value 125. We defined a where the reference for x that is y. then display x using the value of x and is in the value of y also then we change the y that is the reference it changes x also automatically again both are displayed now you see the new value which has been modified using y so initially x value is 125 same thing displayed by y and next we change the x uh, x value using y we made it 150 that reflects automatically in x also so this is what is called reference variables see new feature in c actually this is these reference variables are used usually where uh, pointers were used in uh, c pointers had some problems so that is some additional headache is there so instead of that now this features has been introduced in c++ we can use uh, reference variables where pointers are required for example in swap function now shortly we will see swap function how to use pointers for uh, how to use reference variables for swapping